Hello everyone and welcome to day two of the New York International Auto Show. I'm here covering the show for a second day. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the show floor, so if there's any cars, trucks, or SUVs that you want to see, let me know, send me a note, make a comment, like, and share this post. So I'm going to flip the camera around in just a few seconds. I'm at the Ford display right now, and I'm going to do that in a couple of seconds, like I said, so you can get a look at what's going on here. As you see, there's still a lot of uh, press activity and buzz here on day two on the show floor. You see there's uh, filming, filming going on right now, so I'm going to just head out this way, not to be in their way. I'm walking by the uh, Ford GT500. It's a special one. It's the 2020 Mustang Shelby GT500. It's a special one. Get a look at the uh, 5.2 liter supercharged V8 engine. Seven, seven dual speed clutch transmission GT500. Like I said, if there's any car that you want me to stop and take a look, I just put it in the comments or uh, share it, let me know, and I'll, I'll be happy to do that. Here is the uh, Ford GT. Let's see it here. This is like it's in its racing stripes. Yesterday, if, uh, if you remember, I had shared some pictures online. It was National Mustang Day. I showed a couple of pictures. I see about three or four of the uh, amazing Mustang. Ford Explorer ST This is uh, one of the models that they sell to governments, the police interceptor All new 2020 Escape by Ford. One of the hybrid vehicles. I'm gonna try to get you around uh, all this uh, media over here. You see, there's a lot of activity on this show floor. Have a live presentation right here for you. My grandfather, when he became ill and was no longer able to move, he rarely ever left the house and was completely dependent on those around him. So that's really when the first question of mobility and aging came into my mind. And that was sort of the seed for how Go Ride got started. We believe so strongly that mobility is a fundamental right. My grandfather could have had more, retained more of his social circle, more of his interests, and again, lived on his terms and be able to be the person that he was his whole life. To have that kind of experience really speaks to the values that Ford has, and I think we're all very proud to be part of that.
when Jake was little, he just loved playing with any kind of car it was. And then he just liked to start going to dealerships. And they would see us come in and they'd say, oh, can we help you? And we'd say, no, we're just looking at the cars. And after a while, they could almost sense that there was an annoyance with us. But when we came to Apple Valley Ford, they really embraced Jacob. Jake found something in us that he liked. He just wanted to be a part of something. And we were lucky enough for him just to be, to want to be a part of what we have. It's one of the hardest things we consider, you know, raising a special needs son is inclusion. So when the dealership embraced him, we just asked, is it okay if Jacob actually works here? And then he was officially employed. You look at Jake as he's in the dealership, mm -hmm. and he is proud to be part of Ford. Just the fact that, that the people at Ford um, care enough about him. Most people can't really imagine what it's like to be in a raging fire. The Tubbs fire is an example of a blaze that just got out of control incredibly quickly. Two sheriff's deputies are going door to door. And this is a very frantic time in any emergency situation. These two sheriff's deputies, at great personal peril, used their cruisers to get into where the people were, around the flames, embers flying, to get those people out and see. All of those heroes are people too, and every one of them shares the same fears, the same concerns, and the only thing that they can rely on is their training and their equipment, because that's what gets them through every one of those emergency calls. I am proud that Ford is here to support me and all first responders so that we can support you. Now, here for example, let's meet the Slimics who retraced a part of Lewis and Clark's path on a single tank of gas in one of our all new Ford Explorer hybrids. Let's take a look. Sam, come on, let's go. Hey, you need any help? That would be amazing, thank you. This all-new Explorer Hybrid delivers 318 combined horsepower and is projected to turn an EPA-estimated range of over 500 miles on a single tank of gas. You can take your off-road with confidence or tow up to 5,000 pounds when properly equipped, and there is no compromise in cargo space or passenger. But we're not done with our news just yet.
all-new Ford Explorer ST gives you the best of both worlds. The capability and versatility of a family SUV when you need it, and the sheer joy of driving a Ford Performance vehicle when you want it. Now under the hood is a new 3-liter V6 EcoBoost that's projected to turn out 400 horsepower with 415 pounds of torque. Made it to a specially tuned version of Ford's proven 10-speed automatic transmission. And with a quicker 0 to 60 time than the current Explorer's car, and a targeted top speed of 143 miles per hour, this is the fastest Explorer. Ever. Well, Joy, if you're ready to race, first thing we have to do is pick a GT500, and we have some great choices. But I have to warn you, I've been driving a Mustang since I've been 15. <laughs> yeah, with no license, no insurance, right, Jim? You know, I didn't start driving until I was street legal, but I'll take my chances. Wow, it's a GT500 mystery car. Let's unlock it and see what it can do. Escape offers four new powertrains, including a full hybrid that targets best in class EPA estimated range of over 550 miles. Now, it has unrivaled flexibility, exclusive second row sliding seats for best in class legroom, up to 37.5 cubic feet of cargo space. And that's the smartest escape ever. Every model features smart technology like five new selectable drive modes, standard Ford Co Pilot 360 to help boost your confidence behind the wheel. For example, trying to change lanes on a busy freeway, Hope Pilot 360's blind spot information system uses radar to help detect vehicles in your blind spot and then warns you right here in your side view mirror. Cross traffic alert uses that same radar to help detect vehicles approaching from the sides that you just can't see when backing up. Trap and stop and go traffic? Well, adaptive cruise control helps you maintain a safe distance in traffic and smoothly cruises at the speed and the following distance that you yourself get to select. The lane keeping system can even detect when you cross over the lane markers and notifies you from steering wheel vibration, even applying steering port to help get you right back into the center of the lane. And, and of course, there is automatic emergency braking. Now that uses radar and camera technology to 
Kowalski had the road ahead. He had to apply the brakes to increase the risk of a collision between slowed or stopped vehicles, even a pedestrian like myself. You know, every 2020 Ford Escape offers quality driver assist features and a whole lot more. And we are rolling Ford Copilot 360 technology out across the entire Ford line. But we are also thinking beyond smart vehicles. We're working with cities and other partners to create a smart new world where every journey will become easier and more seamless for each and every one of us. So, I'd like you to imagine that this right here is a future Ford vehicle. It operates here in the city of tomorrow or open source technology Ford is already building with our partners which vehicles constantly connect to each other so open source technology like traffic signals cloud based services pedestrians like me cyclists and even to our very brave first responders let's take a moment to see what that might look like shall we and here we have Karen, who's expecting her very first child in two weeks. And her husband, Alberto, here is driving them to their final check over with Dr. Gibson. But Karen's a bit worried that she might already be going into labor. So she calls Dr. Gibson, who tells them to get directly to the hospital. And that's when Alberto has a panic attack. Now, his vehicle detects a medical emergency based on the spike in his heart rate and blood pressure. And driver assist technology takes control to safely park. First responders and medical teams are contacted automatically signals themselves are then switched, and traffic is rerouted, and first responders already know that they've got a pregnant mom, thus now a bit of a panic dad at the same scene. And Dr. Gibson, she's already on her way to the hospital in an autonomous vehicle, and we see what could have been a minor emergency here, turning out to be the perfect delivery of the happiest kind. And that's our vision of the city of tomorrow, and it all starts with the advanced four vehicles that we're here building for today. Thank you. Now let's get started. The future isn't created in a keynote address. The presidential speech did not land us on the moon. Millions of man hours did. They built their way there. Some will talk, talk, talk about the future. But you'd be a fool to believe it. You see, talk doesn't get things done. Building does building like we have for the last 115 years and building for the next century building cars new technology and transforming cities so let the other guys keep dreaming about the future we'll be the ones building it Now, ladies and gentlemen, that will wrap up our show for today. If you guys have been a great audience, so give yourselves a quick hand. Now, once again, thank you for visiting us here at Ford, where we are proud of the great cars, trucks, and SUVs we're building today. We're excited about the smart world that we're here building for tomorrow. And on behalf of everyone here at Ford, we want you to enjoy the rest of your time here at NICE, watch your steps on the way down, and thank you for coming. Enjoy your day. Uh. All right, B, that was a presentation by Ford. We're going to break away from the Ford display and we're going to uh, head over to get, move around. I mean, I would stay there a little bit longer because I had, they were generous enough to have that presentation, but. I'm going to be walking over to the Hyundai display now. Here is the Elantra GT. Like I mentioned earlier, is there a car or truck you want to see? Let me know. Um, I said trucks are downstairs, so if there's anything else you want to see that's not up here, just let me know and I'll see if I can get it for you later. But um, here's the, the Ionic Q. Having you do a little walkthrough. This is a Sonata plug-in. See, that's a uh, one of the hybrids.
There's one. You see all these hands that are on the um, vehicle right here. One of the things that Hyundai does, I have a charity called Hope on Wheels, and it helps kids fight cancer. Usually, I have an event later at night. That's why all these chairs are set up here. But it's a great, it's a great nonprofit. But uh, that's why. <laughs> He shows some of the kids that they're, that they're helping. That's why I have all the handprints that are on the car. Here's the next CEO. See some of the features in here. Give you a look. Bluetooth navigation, blue link. Squeezing as much as I can. Some of the engines available in the Ionic Hybrid. 2.0 turbo. And uh, here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, I don't want to block. I don't want to block the shot. <laughs> so I'm gonna go around this way. Here is a Sonata. I'm gonna see if I can get it this way. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for the carousel to come around. This way, I'm not in anyone's uh, anyone's way. some of the video of the car, I'll do it this way. Yeah. Right, now I'm going to walk towards some of the SUVs. Here's the Kana. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of traffic on the show floor today. Even though it's not open to the public, you see there's a lot of people in the media, a lot of automotive manufacturers and uh, PR outlets that are here. Here's the Santa Fe. Give you 
a quick look at what the inside looks like. Got the Hyundai Palisades right, right here. Take a look at the motor. Now I'm going to move over to Nissan. Here's the Altima. All wheel drive. Here's the Maxima Platinum. It's your navigation. I really like this interior. I really like this tan interior. I'll try to give you an inside look. Nissan had a really special program yesterday. Uh, I had shot a live video of it yesterday. And of the video that I had shot was because it was an anniversary edition of the uh, 370Z and the uh, GTR, which I'm going to pull up to right now. Let's see where we're uh, 50 years. Here's the Datsun and the uh, 370Z, 50th anniversary edition. See, it is where I had broadcasted yesterday in the morning. 50 years. And we're going to... For now, we were going to... Is the uh, Nissan Leaf? And they have a little display here. And hold the vehicle during stop and go driving conditions. If the vehicle comes to a complete stop in a traffic situation for more than three seconds, the driver just presses the resume button or taps the accelerator pedal. This is the intelligent mobile, intelligent city. You can see that here. It's getting a little display. Now I'm going to walk over to Dodge. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that engine, folks. Hemi. This is a Dodge Charger. SRT. Charger in purple if you like purple. Here's a Dodge Durango. Dodge Law. It's tripped out for law enforcement, folks. Let's see where we go. It's locked. Otherwise, I'd love to um, play around with the lights like I did last year with Ford. But here, I'll give you. A... See the badge, Dodge Law? Too bad it wasn't uh, open. I play with the lights, make them flash. I remember I did it last year with Ford. It's pretty good. So you see a uh, thing for the radio, thing for the lights. So I'm gonna back away so you don't get my refl uh, reflection as much. Is he? Uh, it's like a virtual. Reality in the official racing school of Dodge, so I'm gonna just show you like what it, what they're seeing. I'm going to move over to Volkswagen. It's the Atlas.
All right, now I'm going to head towards Chevy. Corvette. Get a look at it. See what it looks like. It's tripped out. A lot of digital tools in there. It's got a lot of space in the back. Get you a little look at that engine. ZR1. I, I can, I mean, I've you see, that's right over there, the GR1. Corvette, Corvette CR. LTS engine. Some of the trucks. Tahoe. The Equinox. Then I'm going to do a uh, move over to Kia. See, there's a live interview going on, so I'm not going to get. I don't want to get in their way. One of the things at the press conference was the stinger. To let it go on the uh, the carousel. This is one of the ones from the press conference yesterday. But Stinger GTS and the uh, telly rides over there, but like I guess I'm only going to get up to this point because there's a live interview in progress, like I said, and I don't want to get in their way. I don't. Telly ride. Here's a soul. Not a little display. I just walked this before I move over. I'll move over to. I'm gonna move over to Honda after this. It's a telly rod. Kia Forte. The Rio. The Optima is right here. 
He's doing a I'm gonna make my way over towards Honda, like I had said. Here's the SUVs. I'm gonna speed this along a little bit, except for certain ones, because I wanna make sure I get it all in for everybody uh, watching at work or at home or wherever you are right now CRV clarity Honda Accord. See, these are the signs that they have to guide us about where to go for the, uh, the press conferences. Because there's a lot of them scheduled uh, back to back each day. And so it's like it's not like just uh, when you attend on a public day and you just like go here and you go there. It's like a schedule that you have to stick to if you want to have cer get certain coverage. So that's why I just want to let you see this. All right, so I'm going to make it over. I'm going to make my way. I'm going to make my way over to uh, Toyota. But see, there's like a live feed, so I'm going to go around this way not to be in their shot. You see, there's a lot of live broadcasts going on today. We're on Toyota now, Corolla. Let's do a quick one. Let's see if I know people want Camry. Here's the Camry. Get it this way. See the front. It's the inside of the Camry. A quick look. One of them. This is the hybrid, actually, as you can see here. Corolla they have different colors, different events. So much battery left to have. Okay. Keep this thing. Keep this video moving. Now, I'm going to move over to uh, Maserati. I'm going to know everybody likes that. So.
Here's a Levante right here, as you can see. Do a little uh, mm -hmm. get a quick view of the inside of it. You can see. You can see how it has an electronic display and cars. There you go. Take a look at the interior a little bit. Grand Cabrillo, this looks like a nice one. Take a look. All right, we're gonna head towards Audi. There's a tour on progress here, so I'm gonna get out of your way. I'm gonna go to the Audis. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just show them now. It's in the interest of time, I'm gonna show the cars without um, going into as much detail. Here's a V10. It's Quattro. That's their thing. Driver assistance. I'm gonna make it over to Alfa Romeo now. There's a lot of interesting things going on. These cars are Julia. He's a Julia in blue. He's a racing Alfa Romeo set for the racetrack. You can see that right there. You see, there's a tour uh, going on right now, so we're gonna I'm gonna stay here and we'll let them pass, so they could uh, go on their and their way. They wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to interfere with the tour, so I'm gonna just. Here's the Acura TLX PMC. This is one of the unveils yesterday. the NSX. It's pretty amazing. You can see I read how the uh, you can see the cars here. See if I can step on stage just to get a get a look at it. Uh, you can take a look at the NSX. Because I'm doing the, I want, I want, I want you to get, to get you that closer. Because a lot of times on public days, a lot of these things are closed off to the public. So I want to give you that inside, uh, inside feel. The MDX in red. I'm gonna.
gonna make my way over towards Lexus. See, Alexa is uh, compatible with Lexus. As you can see, you can take your favorite Alexa skills to go. Voice, voice enabled technology right here. And this is the ES300. There you go. There's a lot of spacious, spacious uh, trunk room so it's sweet in the back if you have groceries or things you have to carry it's the automatic uh, lever the RX 450H or the RX 450H let's get a look at the inside I'm going to just quickly just zoom in here and just get this just for every, for the viewers and everyone see people are just feeling the seats pretty comfortable if you ask me LC500 ES350 again I'm gonna move over to Mercedes now. Let's see how much battery life I got left. Okay. I'm just gonna do a, it's a V8 for sure. I'm gonna do an overview because, like I said, I uh, shot the uh, live video AMG GT yesterday of the press conference. Um, so they went over a lot of those things in more detail. So AMG. 63. Pretty amazing. Let me see if S560 Maybach sedan. You take a look at the fin chrome finishes and the uh, nice leather seating. I'm going to go around the other side. This is the GL580. I, um, was at the press conference, if you remember this, I don't know if you were able to see that part. It actually came out of a wood crate. They drove it onto the stage. That was in that, lot, that uh, live video from T Tuscaloosa, Oklahoma. You can see. So I'm going to just see if I can go in the front. You can see it. And looks like they're uh, getting comfortable in the back seat, uh, you know, talking. So as you can see, it's a comfortable, 
it's it's a comfortable vehicle. They're not uh, anxious to to leave the vehicle. So, and another thing that I'm gonna see if I can get on stage to. This is one of the two or three vehicles are on stage. One of them is over there, like I mentioned. This is a GLC 300 Coupe. It's one of the unveils, which I'm going to do this now because a lot of times, even if they keep the cars up here, they it's closed off to the public uh, a lot of times on public days. So I want to get you that inside look to see if it's open. Yeah, see, now I, I can open the vehicle. It'll, I'm allowed to do that, so I'm going to just see the seating, two-tone. I'm gonna go over here and see the uh, you see there's like a tour going on I think so I don't want to get in their way it's the 1886 EQC it's actually inspired by uh, Mercedes Benz's daughter that was uh, in the video in the press conference when I saw that, showed it yesterday. So you have to look at the video for that. See these uh, fine journalists are taking notes on the presentation. That's why I have the headphones on. I'm talking a little bit lower so they could uh, they could hear the uh, presentation. I'm just gonna just squeeze by and just see if I could just like get sure side of what it looks like. You can see it. It's him talking low, so you can... 1886 will get you that logo. Just the back. See if I can get you the back. EQC 400. That's the car. 1886, inspired by his daughter, and inspired by, uh, as a way to help, you know, it's an emphasis on, on empowering uh, women, too. That's why it was, you know, that was the emphasis of the video that was shown in the, the press conference that I captured yesterday. So you could see it. And this is what they, actually, this thing here, this is what they drove it in on um, yesterday. It came, it came through this way. And I just wanted to get you to give you that, that inside look. And uh, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and just uh, squeeze through. Excuse me. Sorry. Let's see if I could go to Porsche now. I mean, I, I think... I think oh, excuse me. Let's see if we could get the uh, Porsche 911 Speedster. I really enjoyed that. So I'm going to see if I can walk you over there. Oh, and before we hit there, I'm going to just do a quick show of the, uh, the Genesis. So... I'm meeting by. No, wait right here. No, I don't want to come over. I really didn't cover a lot on that. Ace track. G. G. Ace track 3.3. G70. They want even even on some even on some cars even as media even, even as media you have to see we uh, can't we're not allowed to uh, we're not allowed to go on to display um, we have a lot more access than the public but you see some things are even off limits to us okay. the Genesis. All right, now I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to hit the, uh, do a quick thing of the Porsche uh, display. I want to just get you that car, and then I think we're going to be coming into the conclusion of the video soon because I'm on the run out of battery. 
do a quick walkthrough. See his Cadillac, there's Lincoln. And I'm gonna so walk us right way right into Porsche. It's Lincoln, just a quick walkthrough. Porsche Cayenne. Put them. Seven one eight. Yeah. Look. Special nine eleven speedster. I'm gonna just see if I can get a video of this. See, this is a this is one of the ones that was a. Uh, Unveiled yesterday in the press conference. Let's see if I can go and get the. I'm gonna see if I can loop around. I'm actually gonna see if I can sit in it if the driver's side is open. I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and get that seat and just get a give you a sense of what it looks like. See, it's a big drop. Stick shift. Like a caramel interior. See, here's another thing a carousel for the public. I'm sure that's going to be where you can't sit in it. It's going to be with glass around it. You're not going to be able to come near it on the public day. So I wanted to give you that insight to show you what it looks like. I'm going to get in the back, climb this off. Here's a 911 Carrera S. Do a little walk by of that. And then here's a, here's a Speedster. I was was able to capture yesterday because I was standing here during the press conference for Porsche and just give you a sense of what it looks like on the inside. And you know what I'll do? I still have a little bit more battery left so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Mazda and show you car that cops at that press conference but MX5 is one of the ones in the unveil. Let's see what he gets you the M3. Here we go. You know, this is, actually this is the stage here so let me get on stage which is another thing that's usually walled off to the public. On the public days, Mazda 6, I'm gonna actually climb up here and just give you a walkthrough of.
Here's the uh, hatchback. Here's the M3. This is the other first one that was done, unveiled at the press conference. The red interior will give you a look at the inside. I'm gonna head towards Subaru just to see if what I can capture because I have a little bit more battery left and See, with Subaru, did they made it like a, in the form of a national park? Is that they're associated with a non-profit uh, called not National Park Foundation. Um, that's why it looks like I'm in a forest. I mean, I, I don't think of it. and they actually have a little presentation going on. When the Outback was introduced 25 years ago, is the its capability combined with our owner's love of these special places, inspired Subaru to invest in the national parks for generations to come. Subaru cares about our environment, which is why our manufacturing plants produce zero waste. And Subaru go ahead. shared its zero you landfill the expertise with the national parks you through the Don't the, the Landfills initiative. Helping eliminate over six million pounds of waste from the national That's parks it looks like, so far. In fact, Subaru has been helping the parks for over 20 years, educating on environmentalism through Leave No Trace. See, that's the foundation. Recently, national Subaru Park Foundation partnership with the parks See. by becoming the largest corporate partner of the National Park Service's 100-year anniversary. To date, Subaru has contributed over $68 million to preserve the park. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to just get out of that way. All right, thanks. I'm actually going to be filming, folks. I'm going to get out of that way. Uh, and So it is with great pride that we share with our valued partner, the National Park Foundation, the introduction of the most capable, the most adventurous, the best outback we have ever made the 2020 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Pretty interesting presentation by Subaru and the all new, introducing the all new 2020 Subaru Outback. This is there, it came up through the floor. So I'm gonna just skip out this way. Alright, so this is a live view from the floor. If there's anything that I haven't covered that you want to see, send me a note, send me a message, comment on this video, and I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, like I said, I'll see if I have time, I'll see if there's, uh, I could do a walkthrough of the lower level, but we'll see about the battery life and the time, because like I said, I, I'm starting to run out of battery now, I gotta go for a recharge. Thank you for watching. 
live from the New York Auto Show in New York on Press Day 2. Bye for now.